right, here we go. Corporal's Corner midweek video number 34. We're in the shop and we're going to forge a Frontier Spoon. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to continue with our theme of doing things that most are not doing and create a Frontier Forged Spoon to match our Frontier Forks. Why? Because at some point in the future, I'd like to sell these. But I want to get the process dialed in first. So I have here in my hand a piece of 1018 carbon steel, hex shape, 5 16 thickness. We're going to cut this down to about eight and a half, nine inches, flatten one end out in the shape of a spoon, and then twist it, make a small hook here in the back, and then dome our spoon to give it that shape. So let's get to it. So the downside of 5 16 is the more you pound it, the thinner the spoon's going to get. And no matter how hard you try, you're only going to get that thing so wide. Otherwise, it's going to be paper thin, and once you just push on it, it's going to bend, and you don't want that. So something like that that resembles a rough spoon shape, you're in business. What I want to do right now is I want to heat up this portion here and twist it like my other Frontier fork, and then we'll work on the tail and then come back to the spoon. So what you're looking at here is one of many different versions of a swage block, S-W-A-G-E block. They're somewhat expensive, but they have different shapes in here that you can pound the metal into. You see one here that resembles a spoon. This one here resembles a ladle. And someone's going to say, well, you can just use that. I could if I had larger material because it's got to be larger than what you have to pound it. 
so that goes down inside. But we're gonna use the edges here on both of these as well as around the top here to actually shape our spoon. If you flip it over, there's a large one here, that's five inches, and you can actually make a divot for like a plate, bowl, or even a skillet. So, it's crude, but I mean, I'm happy with it. Um, probably the best one I've made so far. Now, here's the reality of something like this. The Frontier Forks, I'm turning out about eight to 10 an hour. Something like this, I'll be lucky to get two. Let's just say two. Anybody in the right mind isn't gonna wanna sweat and slave around and pounding on metal to make 10 bucks. It's not gonna happen. The cost of the steel, the amount of propane you're burning through, the electricity, all those are factors. So until I get this dialed in, it's not gonna be on my Etsy page because you know, some people are gonna say, we should do it for free. No one's gonna work 40, 50 hours a week making videos or working a full-time job and then come in here and pound away for eight hours and only get you know 15 done, okay? Uh, in addition to trying to make everything else, package everything else and get things out. You just, you would never sleep and you just spin your wheels into infinity. Um, so, there's a different approach I'm looking at to try and make these. It's not gonna match the front to your fork, but it will be a spoon. And that's using a flat bar and simply pounding it out and then utilizing 100% of that swage block, just beating it in there and then just grind off the edges and then just twist it and be done. Um, so I'll play around with that in the upcoming weeks and let you guys know. And then if I'm happy with it, we'll drop it in there. But to be honest, I could probably make one of these and cast them out of bronze. But the problem is there, copper's expensive. So either way you go, it's gonna be a problem. Um, but you have a tutorial that you can go to and try it on your own, and that will hold water. And like I said, it's not bad. I'm happy with it. 
On that note, let's go ahead and end this bad boy off. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. Both links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.